Hey guys, uh, here's my Neki BU that I restored. One of the first machines that got me into collecting was this machine. I have a video showing uh, the before of this machine. When I got it, it was in a table, but the table's condition was so poor that I did end up getting rid of the table that it was in. Um, I had this base that another Neki BU came in, so I put this machine in that base. Anyways, uh, this is the machine restored to all of its glory. The motor that I'm running on here is a 1.3 amp motor off a Japanese machine. Um, just because this machine's got a lot of strength, so I figured uh, I'm going to upgrade the motor so it has more punching strength. Because this, this machine can sew through. Uh, right here I have, this is triple folded. So that's uh, six layers there, and then I folded that three times over. So there's over nine layers here that I've stitched, no problem. Uh, six layers there that's denim so there you go that's almost 10 layers of denim right there look at how thick that is so through that like nothing um, this is some examples of the of the uh, satin stitch you can do for the zigzag uh, I was still working on some balancing here but I was just practicing uh, trying to keep my zigzag straight so if I set my machine down to uh, 0.5 on my stitch length um, and set my zigzag to full width that's what I get it's that beautiful satin stitch Anyways, uh, let me show you guys here an example. I'll, uh, I'll run a satin stitch here for you. Um, this is on zigzag. Uh, I got the machine set up here. So I'm running a um, red thread up top and I got a green thread down below. Uh, I'm still tweaking the tension just a little bit on this machine, but it's almost 100% right now. I'm using older threads and stuff. So uh, here, let me show you what satin stitch looks like here um look at that satin stitch look at that that's pretty good eh not bad look at the back of that Whew. anyways yeah so there's the uh there's the satin zigzag this is a 1951 this is why i got into uh vintage machines i ran this machine and uh after i restored it and i was quite pleased with it a lot of things I like about the, the Neki BU is it has all these locking adjustments, these little fingers that you can lock your stitch length if you wanted to. So you can tighten that up and now your stitch length isn't going to move on you. Put it there. Now you reverse and your forward are always the same length. I really like this feature on this machine, having that locking stitch so that you're not trying to keep your balance uh your stitch length exactly the same it's it's locked in same with your zigzag you can lock in your zigzag here uh just by moving this one little dial here and if i wanted it to move not even move at all i can lock this zigzag solid uh but let's say i wanted it to go from uh, a one on the zigzag to a three i can set that up that simple um it's one of the things i really like about this machine it's had a lot a lot of locking points uh, so when you're stitching and stuff with projects, you don't have to keep remembering all these numbers You can just lock it in and go. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so that's the machine there uh, Let's do a straight stitch. Oh, that's still got it on a zigzag there. Sorry about that uh, Let's do a straight stitch here reverse forward Reverse forward This machine just is amazing. That's only two layers of denim that's just a ridiculously low amount. Oh, helps if I have that up all the way. Ridiculous amount of, of denim for this. This machine, that's almost like saying too lightweight. <laughs> so anyways, there you go. That's the uh, the stitches it does right there. Nice and tight. Anyways, uh, there you go. The Neki BU from 1951 that I restored. The machine that got me into collecting. And it's funny because I collect singers. And, uh, but anytime I come across the Neki of this era, um, I would not pass it up if I were you guys. If, if you see one of these, uh, for under $200, you will not be disappointed. I'm telling you right now, I didn't pay anything for this machine. I tried to offer the lady money for this machine when I got it. It was in really bad condition in the, the cabinet it was in. Uh, mechanically it was okay, but cosmetically it was horrible. Uh, the motor was shot on it, so it did need work, but I mean, I got this machine up and going for very, very little, and uh, most of it was elbow grease, but 
this is a beautiful machine. Thought I'd show you guys the Neki BU sewing. Uh, there we go. On to the next machine. Stay safe and take care.